Welcome back, guys. My name is Travis Slocum, and we're here at Slate Orlando. This is smack dab Central Florida. We're getting sexy with cocktails. Let's jump straight into it. Today, we're gonna be making a spin or an elevated twist on a New York sour, okay? Now, most New York sours, traditionally, you will go ahead and put in a rocks glass with a big rock, float some wine, but we're gonna switch it up. We're throwing up in a coupe glass, stemware. We don't want it to dilute it down, so we're gonna go ahead and ice our tent to the side. We're gonna go ahead and change it on what you normally would have and add aged rum, Solero rum specifically. This is Ronza Coppa 23, mixed blended between ages of six and 23 year old rum. We're gonna add right into our tin an ounce and a half. We will also be adding a passion fruit kiwi syrup. And typically with New York Sours, you're gonna go ahead and put lemon juice, but we won't add any lemon juice to this because that passion fruit gives us a nice acidic level to that cocktail that gives a nice balance. Next, we're gonna add a rich Demerara sugar. You're gonna do a half ounce of that. Boom, right into our tin. And last but not least, like all classic New York Sours, we're gonna add a little bit of egg white. Now, a little trick for you guys at home. If you've never done this before, if you wanna add egg white into your cocktail, I highly suggest cracking the egg grabbing your strainer and crack it directly into that strainer. It'll separate all of those egg whites for you. And boom, just like that, we went ahead and separated our egg. We're gonna go ahead and add our ice, seal, a little shaky shaky. Whew, all right. And we're gonna reverse dry shake. Reverse dry shaking is when you go ahead and add all your ingredients with your egg white, shake it in some ice, strain it into your cheater tin, throw all the ice out. Your tin should be nice and cool. Seal it again and give it a nice little shake. This allows us to add a lot of foam into that cocktail. And as you can tell, I was throwing my arm into it, making sure we get a nice frothy base. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour straight into our coupe glass, just as so. And as that's settling right there, we're gonna go ahead and grab this is Merlot. We float with a red wine. It's always suggested you use a Cabernet Merlot, something really fruity for your New York Sours. And we're just gonna go ahead and splash that right on top. It's okay if it looks crazy, because if you can see, this cocktail is one of our signature cocktails. And we call it the Solstice Sour because you get a little bit of that passion fruit layered with that Merlot, and it has a beautiful design on top. This is our Solstice Hour here at Slade Orlando. Thank you guys so much for watching.